Sports Bet presents when it all comes together. So I just wanted to recap like what my goals were beforehand um, from last time. So I've been working on my editing. Um, in the first course I did, I improved my time by 22 seconds. The co second course, I improved by 23 seconds. The third course, I really improved. And I, uh, the editing the staircases was what, what was killing me, and I really got better at that. And that's 46 seconds. And then the course four is 48 seconds. I took off the editing aim assist. I'm actually thinking about putting it back on because it seems to be helpful. But I was going to go back through this week and try with it on and see if I did any better or worse or how that helped me or, or made it worse. Anyways... Okay, so areas I need to improve this week are patience. I need to be more patient with people. Uh, patient. I feel like I'm too aggressive and I attack too early. Now, some people may say I'm less, not aggressive enough. I do panic sometimes. That's true. Um, so I, should be, but I need to be patient. I need to um, work on mobility and moving into the zone beforehand. Picking my battles. So only attack when I'm in a really good position instead of attacking them from bad positions. Um... So a couple things I wanted to go over th this time is number one is mobility. Mobility is a big issue this season because you don't have any mobility things. There's no bouncers, there's no launch pads, there's no rifts at, of, of any kind, no no awesome super rift in the middle of uh, um, of Loot Lake, nothing like that. So you're on foot with the exception of boats, but the problem with boats are super noisy. And they're not very efficient over land, so they're not much better. And so um, mobility is important. Knowing knowing your space and your place are really, really important. You need to. And so some advantages if you leave a little bit early. Um, the bots, the bots leave really, really early. So you can do some bot farming on the way there. Um, so leave early. You can kill bots on the way into the zone. You can tra uh, You can also track enemies by predicting their white line. So a lot of times, a lot of people move directly along the white line. Um, and I'll go over that in just uh, I'll go over uh, an alternative to that in just a second. Anyways, but because of the lack of mobility, mats are more important than ever. And so um, it's really really important to farm up mats. Now there's two schools of thought here. The first school of thought is to farm up and you know just farm until you get you know max mats at least in wood, but uh, hopefully in as much mats as you can, three to four hundred mats in um, brick and steel. But, you know, that that is what it is. So if you can, you know, but you want to get, you know, I would say no lower than like three or four hundred in in wood and then maybe two to three, uh, two hundred in still and in um, stone. But um, the strategy here is if you get lower mat, the other strategy is get lower mats, leave with lower mats and then go bot farming. Um, keep in mind that later the game, later in the game, the um, the more the bots have and so if you go if you go later in the game your bots are gonna have four to five hundred still each and so you can kinda work on that um, this part right here I've, I've been struggling with editing so sometimes like my I, uh, my editing sucks sometimes and it pisses me off anyways okay um, the other thing is uh, like this is a good example is like I have struggled um, with high ground you know um, making sure I have high ground like right here I pin myself it pissed me off uh, anyways Okay, and so I'm just trying. I'm just trying to build and trying to get where I'm sp I, uh, build and, and fight him with high ground. I should have been using this time to build up and straight up, but I didn't. Anyways, um, okay. The other thing I want to talk about is the shotgun meta. The shotgun meta is way uh, is a lot different this season because before you have you had the um, see I just Harry Pottered my freaking self. Uh, anyways. Before you had the shotgun meta where you had the pump shotgun, which was the primary shotgun, and it was so slow on the shooting that you had to have a secondary weapon like an SMG to follow it up. Now when the TAC is the primary shotgun in, in season in season or chapter two, season eleven, whatever you want to call it, then the you don't need the SMG anymore. So you can you can have an assault rifle and a TAC a TAC shotgun and then have the other three slots for one of the um, uh, the bandage guns. The, those will actually fill you up to 100% if you use the bandage guns. So they're worth it to carry around just for Hill's purposes all by themselves. Um, and so, but it does open up or fishing poles. Like that's one thing that I have neglected sadly is you can um, you can get a lot of health and a lot of things with fishing. So fishing can be a, a very very effective way to um, get hills. 
So, you know, just take a second to fish. Now, by the way, if you're fishing, don't just fish out the open. Build yourself a little one by one, pop a window in it, and fish out the window. That way, for sure, like, you know, you're not going to get sniped or anything like that. Uh, you guess you could still get sniped to the window, but you're a lot less likely to get sniped than you would be otherwise. So, you know, be, be smart when you're fishing, but you can spend some time fishing. And don't just tuck, chuck your pole in the water anywhere. Look for the little fishing spots with the little rings right there, and you can go in there. And if you get lucky, you can get the goldfish trophy, which if you, you can actually use it as a weapon and throw at people, and you can get up to 200. Uh, it, can do, it does 200 damage. So you can cause a lot of damage on people. Um, so uh, as far as editing goes, by the way, one other note on editing is that um, make sure if you're on console, which a lot of you guys are, change it to edit on, uh, uh, confirm on release. That's going to help you a lot with your editing. It's going to be a little hard to get used to. Um, but do the, and as far as consoles go, by the way, guys, like when it comes to consoles versus uh, computer PC players, man, we console, us console players are screwed. Like we don't even stand a chance. There's so many times where I come up against the guy and then they just like, bam, next thing I know, they're building all the way around me. And it, like and even though like I'm pumping 90s or I'm you know, trying to get high ground, I just I can't even compete with them. It's crazy to me. Well, I can't compete with a lot of people. So let, let's... Um, Let's not be bad. Uh, now the other thing is like you know choose pick. Are you are you a high ground? Are you a high ground player? Do you go for high ground every time? Or are you a low ground warrior? There is advantages to low ground. Like there are ways to definitely bring them down to you, and then once they're down to you, you're good to you know it's a 50-50 match, and you can take and you can take them out. So there is advantages to that. Um, the other thing I wanted to go over is uh, is um, First, before we go over the, the final thing. Now, by the way, notice on this game where I positioned. Because I came from the outside, and I'm, going, I'm using the outside wall of the... By the way, Bloom is a major issue right now. See that? I haven't right my targets. Unless I get that, like, ah. Uh, and the blue burst is supposed to be one of the best guns. I do this terrible thing where I push, I push down... Um, uh, R3, uh, L3, and I screwed up. Anyways, um, but I was gonna say you. I was using. I was using the edge of the storm. I'm riding the storm right now. I know he's in that bush. So I'm gonna get him. I'm riding the storm. And I'm. I'm. I'm trying to find good position. Jeez, man. If I had any other gun right now, I'd take it. But um. Uh, so use the edge of storm, use the storm to your area, and notice that now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go get, I, I can get center location, there's three players left, there's two people fighting off to the right, and so I'm just gonna use this time to get this, put a little wall here, and then use this time to just loot up, get max mats, whatever I need to get. Those guys scare the crap out of me. Anytime that happens, oh my gosh, that scares me so bad. Okay, but look, I'm in the I'm in the center of the I'm in the center of the circle. I'm gonna and now I'm in just a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for high ground. Okay, so I'm like, okay, sweet. Here we go. Let's go up. Kind of being cautious. Plus, I stuck a building, so I'm also gonna go for high ground. And right about now, that other guy's gonna get sniped. I can't even see where they're at, so. This got, that, the person just got sniped, and they're going, and I'm going to hear them on the right-hand side. But see, notice I get high ground. I'm going to go a little bit higher than this, even. In just one second. And the high ground is what allows me to get this, uh, get this dub here. I don't know what that guy's thinking. And I remember to dance. Yay, danced. Anyways, that's all the notes I have for today. I didn't even get through half the stuff I had planned. But thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, tell your friends about it, and I'll catch you next time.